Hey, I'm Harik Learners. In this video, I put together a quick collection of 10 common and useful phrases in Amharic that you'll be able to easily use with any Ethiopian or Amharic speaker. The first phrase we have is Salam. This actually translates to peace in Amharic, but it's used as hello. If you remember one word from this video, Salam should be it. You can greet anyone just by saying Salam and waving. So the next word that we have is a little trickier. It's Tenasteling. And this translates to let God give you health. So this seems a little out of the ordinary for English, but it's a very common saying in Ethiopian culture. The culture is very influenced by Christianity and you see that materialized in the language through expressions like tenasteling. This would be used as just a common greeting, like salam, you, you could follow with tenasteling. The next word we have is yikarta. This is excuse me in Amharic. You could use this to get someone's attention or if you were trying to get past someone in a crowded area. It's pretty similar to excuse me in English. The next phrase we have builds off of the previous one. And this is Yakarta al Sammahum. This means excuse me, I didn't hear. It's a pretty direct translation and kind of self explanatory. Uh, so we'll just move on to the next phrase. Next we have Tarias. Tarias is another popular greeting in Amharic. It has more of a casual connotation behind it. It can mean hi or what's up or how are you. But yeah, remember, this is more of a casual greeting that you just say to friends. Next up, we have please in Amharic. You'll see that this is written three different ways. And this is because how you say it depends on who you're talking to. So if you were speaking to a male, you'd say ebake. If you were speaking to a female, you'd say Ebakesh. And if you were addressing a group of people, you'd say Ebakachu. So you have Ebake, Ebakesh, and Ebakachu. Now we have Amasaginadlu. This in Amharic means thank you. This is a very important phrase in Amharic because not expressing gratitude when it's due could be seen as disrespectful, and even more so in Ethiopian culture than in others. So remember, I'm a yeah. Another useful phrase we're going to go over is, what's your name? Again, we have this written multiple ways, because how we say it depends on if we're talking to a man or a woman. So when talking to a male, you'd say, Simaman no. So that's what's your name when talking to a man. And when asking a woman for her name, you'd say Simishman no. Building off of that, we're going to move to introducing ourselves. There are many ways to say this, so I've written a couple out. You could say Yene Sim and then introduce your name. So I would say Yene Sim Mikhail no. Or you could say Sime Mikhail no. These are both just ways of saying my name is. The third thing I have written down is your name followed by Ibalalo, which is a way of saying I'm called. So if I said Mikhail Ibalalo, which that would translate to I'm called Mikhail. And so for our tenth phrase, we have Min Adis Negaralla. This is a typical conversation starter in Amharic. It means what's new. So you could use this after using one of the greetings with someone that you know. So there you have it, 10 useful phrases in a mark. I'd encourage you to go out and actually try and use these. Thanks for watching.